So just on the iwi side of things, um, a lot of people might not know that uh, the New Zealand Maori, they signed a, a treaty with the British Crown back in 18, 1840. So with that treaty, it gave them ownership over their lands. Uh, over time, that treaty wasn't honoured, but there's been a lot of settlements. So the iwis have got some funding back and with that funding, they've looked to either develop businesses, invest in education, invest in uh, scholarships, uh, develop their current businesses that they have, that includes uh, seafood, agriculture, horticulture. They've also looked at ways to look after the current uh, buildings or assets that they have. So it's a bit of a hierarchical system that's there. So there are obviously, there's a board, it's very similar to a company. There's a board, there's a chairman, there are, uh, there's a voting system as well. It's a little bit like a family business. So there are some complexities and there are some issues in that way. It's not a single entity business, it's not a privately owned business. So there's a lot of uh, interactions that go there and it can be quite complicated and they can be quite um, complex on getting things over the line. It's not like a, this business I own with my business partner, so we have 50-50. That one there, they have shareholders and the shareholders are the family members of the tribe. So they will vote on the issues. So. It's not as easy as what I do with just my partner and I, but it's something I really want to work with in the future.